No, you're not dreaming. That is right. Four days in a row I've now uploaded. I mean, I've not been this consistent since forever. Wait, that's incredibly shit. I've done YouTube for nearly three years, and yet I've never uploaded four days in a row. Well, other than last year where I tried to do 25 days of Proudy, and that ended after nine days. So as long as I beat those nine days from last year, this upload schedule is absolutely superb. The last time we met, we played Spell away from home, and after leading 3-1 after 40 minutes, we proceeded to go and lose the game 6-4, which I can't quite work out in my head now. That I think that's the second time this season I've conceded six in a game. I mean, I know my persona on YouTube is to be really shit at this game, but I didn't realize I was that shit at the game. Then again, this is coming from the man who managed to get relegated two seasons in a row on the last time he did attempt to not to get sacked with two different teams. Now the recent results have been a bit weird. We bounced back for that 6-4 defeat to Spal by beating Crotones by 7 goals to 1. I was 5-1 up at half time. Masiba Koda got another 4 goals in that game. I honestly don't know how that happened. And who said Serie A was boring? We then proceeded to lose to Juventus by 4 goals to nil, which was an unsurprising result really. Then beat Genoa at home 3 goals to nil, which was a surprising result. And then we bottled another half-time lead away at the San Siro to lose 3-2 to Inter Milan. So that's just, I mean, we're just going to bottle a lot of half-time leads this season. Now, I have had a few queries about Samuel Armenteros, and he has been demanding first-team football. So I've decided to give it to him. So I can only wish him good luck in January as he sets off a new adventure back to Holland, where he came from. I know he scored 18 goals last season in the Eredivisie, and he was bought for 1.8 million. But I've now sold him back to Vitesse Arnhem in the Eredivisie for 1.8 million. And he's done fuck all for me, so... If anything, I'm the one who's winning. But a 7-1 win over Cotone means that we have now broken another Benevento record. So that just exemplifies what I was saying in the last episode. That I am a world record holder at breaking records. Masima Koda's scoring exploits haven't gone unnoticed. And he has been named in the Serie A team in a month. Alongside centre-back Luca Ante. And Masima Koda has been surprising me because... The fact that he scored 4 goals 2 games in a row and he only scored 15 goals in the division below last season is astonishing stuff and I honestly don't know what I've done to achieve that. Obviously the FMRTE and the in-game editor haven't been used for people that are assuming that I've just, you know, <coughs> raised his stats. We don't do that over here, not on this channel. Yeah, hopefully the headline doesn't actually set a precedent of what's going to happen in 3 months time. I mean, I've got to the point in my life where even I admit that anything involving me always turns to shit. Oh, and talking of bullshit, uh, Amato Cicciaretti is out for the season now with a broken ankle that he picked up in training. I mean, what hope have I got of staying up now? Hello darkness, my old friend. Other than the fact that I have the top goal scorer in the league, but what hope do I have? But let's move forward into the Roma game and the team that I've picked is the most uh, experienced actually I have available at my disposal. But Fabio Lucchioni uh, comes in back in at centre back uh, to replace Luca Ante who is only fit enough to make the bench. There's a change of system as we've gone three across the middle with Raman Chipsaw now playing alongside Mimishai and Cataldi. Lombardi and Pushkas play on the wings and top goal scorer Massimo Koda once again is up front. And then finally, the substitutes who I doubt we're going to be using other than Stocker, Luca Ante, and probably Samuel Armenteros to prove why I should have sold him much earlier. Now, we are playing the Roma side, who are probably one of the stronger teams we're going to face this season, uh, and we're missing quite a few key men. So, uh, I, I still got the top goal scorer in the league, so that must mean something. I need him to score four goals again and hope that my defence actually holds out this time, because I do have... A defender who shouldn't be in this division, who is banned in real life for doping at centre-back because i got no other options. And uh, the team talk has gone incredibly well once again. Uh, my strikers switched off. Not very, not, not good at all. Now we are going defensive at home. I've uh, chosen that strategy that we are going to defend from the back and uh, hope for the best. It didn't work against Juve. It hasn't worked against Spal, and it hasn't worked against... Uh, was it Napoli? I think the other team I got battered by this year. So we can only pray. And not much is happening in this game, which is uh, which is good for me, because it means that my team can't go 1-0 down too early. As long as we hold out. We are currently uh, 10th in the league, so a win here would see us rise up to as far as 8th and close the gap on Roma, who are currently in the Europa League spots. Now, if I take Benevento into Europe, you can imagine that a lot of the comments are just going to be of me... 
being accused of cheating. I'm just a great manager. I don't know what you're on about. And Pellegrini, it's one 0 to Roma. It's uh, the the first highlight of the game we've had, and they've scored. And we're now down to 12th. Yeah, we're probably not going to get into Europe from this position now, are we? Uh, we do have another highlight. Uh, their players have been allowed to bring it down. And the frail is a good save, Brignoli. It's not been a great start to the game. I will admit that. We're, uh, you know, we're losing to Roma. Albeit, it is Roma. And uh, we're not really creating anything. So, uh, Roma have another highlight. I have a feeling this is going to be 2-0. It's hit the bar. We need to get better. I mean, I can't keep going through... Live con games struggling, even though I'm picking harder teams. But we can't go through live con games struggling every game, and then suddenly when I go off camera, we suddenly start playing like a football team again. Okay, we're not, we're not, we're not playing very well. Uh, you've got nothing to lose. That hasn't worked either. It's, it hasn't gone to plan. I will say that it hasn't gone to plan. No, Masima Kodo switched off. We've lost the game. He's not scoring for the rest of the season. He's got 16 goals by December the second, and we're not going to see him score another goal because now he's lost faith in me oh and we do have a uh, we do have a corner and it comes to Cataldi well that that's quite disappointing push gas oh god what is uh, we've lost the ball and after all that we've oh no uh, we're gonna go standards uh Schick, um Venuti clears it I can't work out what's going on here. I mean, they've got Daniele De Rossi playing as centre-back. And we can't get past them. Like, what's going on there? We can't even get the ball clear now. I mean, we're just boot... Oh, my God. We're, we, we have a chance. Push gas on the counter-attack. What's he going to do? He finds Masima Koda. Oh, it's another fantastic goal by Masima Koda. 17 goals this season for the man. Win on level terms. What a strike. This man... Scored 18 goals in Serie B last season. He's about to equal that in a division higher. In a division that he wasn't very successful at when he played for Palmer. This game makes so much sense, doesn't it? Masima Koda is becoming a legend. A legend. He's he's coming up there. Sordolino standards. Sordolino. I mean, Codolino. That, no, no. Codinho. I should, I should probably try, stop trying to force Inyo on the end of a, every player's name. We've gone standard. We're drawing 1-1 against Roma. They're struggling. I mean, sheko has gone off the pitch. There is a highlight, which is in their half. Koda finds Raman Chipsa. Chipsa! Oh, my God. He's put wide. I thought that was the moment for us all to enjoy. I mean, we're, we're coming up to the last five minutes of the game. It's still 1-1. One, one. It's all hanging in the balance. But I think we're going to get the 1-1 one, one draw. We are gonna see one more highlight which i don't think is gonna lead to anything but i'm going to hope anyway and chipsa finds masiba koda he's tackled ref penalty oh no they're on the counter attack in injury time oh costa with a great challenge referee is full time surely full time blow for full don't blow for full time yet lombardi chips are oh it's cleared and it's finally over we've drawn one one against roma i'll take that it's a it's a good result it's a very good result. Uh, yeah, they done... I mean, Code has switched off again. The, the, the guy, you know, just let him do what he wants. If he scored, he scored. That's what I say. Cheers, Jeff.